YouTubers, welcome to a very special edition of uh, starting a business from scratch. I don't know what part this is, but it's pretty deep. It's getting deep. Anyways, I got a, a problem. My head store down in Vancouver, the debit machine stopped working. Just, just didn't work. We can't process debits. Okay, so we called, I called them. I called the 800 number. I called them, give them my account number and everything. Oh yeah, we, we disconnected your machine. Why? But you guys take the you you take you take your percentages out automatically. You don't even I don't even pay you guys. You just automatically deduct it from my No, it's not that. Your machine uh, is out of date, so we have disconnected because we have to protect our customers. You could have told me something that the machine was getting out of date and need to be repaired or it need to be upgraded. Okay, well we're going to lease you a new machine. No, I I own my machine. I bought my machine 2 years ago. For seventeen hundred dollars. Oh well, you're gonna have to buy another machine now. Why? So, I mean, I wasn't given any 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 anything uh, notice. I wasn't given any um, uh, uh, like time to fix this problem. Oh yeah, well we're, we're gonna get it to you in a couple of weeks. Okay, so they're gonna get it to me in a couple of weeks. I don't get it. So, the store here is doing well. The store in Merritt's doing well. It got the ceilings all done. Look at that. Look at these ceilings, people. I got to put some heating vents, um, little plastic things in the in the ducts to make them look nice. I'm going to sand that tonight before I go home because Lauren's going to put the floor tonight. And I'm going to sand that and paint that beam. It's going to look nice. So, the ceilings are done. Look at that. Woo! Place looks amazing. So they got to get all these tools and everything out of here so they can uh, properly lay the floor. Anyways, I am kind of upset that I'm going to lose a ton load of sales this week to try and fix this debit fiasco. I can't believe it. And the last time I had a problem with them was the debit machine. They put the wrong numbers from the void check. I gave them a void check to copy the numbers. Okay. And... They put the numbers wrong, with, and they have a void check with the numbers in front of them. And they're trying to blame me that the numbers were wrong. Anyways, another thing. When I called, no one spoke English. So I said, just put me through to someone that speaks. Because it says for Spanish, press three. So I, I just, I called back and did in Spanish. I called the guy. I explained to him in Spanish. We were talking. I'm like, hey, this is my address. This is where I'm from. He's like, oh, you're calling? There's not a lot of Spanish people call from Canada. Uh, for this, for the service, they usually, they just talk in English. I'm like, well, the people don't speak English. That's the problem. I told them my English is no good. Let me speak in Spanish. So they put, so I got the, the Spanish person. I gave him all the information. He said he's going to send an email up to head office to see if they could activate my machine for a couple of weeks until I get a replacement. So they want to, they want to charge me a lot of money for a new machine, a lot of money. So I just bought this machine out two years ago, and now they're telling me that, yeah, you know, you can't do this. It doesn't work like that. So do I get a refund from the machine that I bought initially? Because the whole purpose was not to pay monthly fees and all this hidden garbage. I don't know. So luckily, I, luckily they have a Spanish option there, which was amazing. Without the... Without the Spanish option, I would have been screwed because I would have been talking to these ladies that were just getting me nowhere. And they don't understand. I, I'm asking them. All I was asking them is if they could close my batch because I have debits on the machine and we can't close the batch, the debit Visa MasterCard. We can't close the money that's on the machine because the machine has been locked out. So we can't close the money that's on the machine to come to the bank account. So it's been a problem. So now... So I have to figure out what to do there. So you see the stress of owning a small business sometimes gets overwhelming and it's out of your control because it's sometimes, well, most of the time when your business is running smooth, you always have hiccups or little things that happen that's out of your control that you can't control. That people that went to school and have all this great education that are sitting on the other side of the phone because you're the one, I, well, I'm the one that has no education and I do my own business and I do my own stuff. So I don't have to burden employers. Well, well why do we have to hire this guy for it? But don't hire me. I just do my own stuff. And I've been doing that most of my life now. Now, I'm stuck. So I got to call them back and beg them to reconnect that machine. No notice given. 
I don't know how much I'm going to lose in sales, and, and it's disgusting. Comment below, let me know what you guys think.